In August, a Somerset family accused the mayor of hitting their 15-year-old daughter with his SUV and not stopping to help. Well, now some people are wondering if he used taxpayer money to pay his legal bills. LEX 18's Carolina Buchak reports. I've got an issue, Mayor, that we've been e emailing back and forth. Monday night city council meeting in Somerset quickly turned tense. I think you agree that it's probably not the best policy. That's Councilman John Adams, and in this exchange, he's asking the mayor whether he spent $1,500 of city money to pay for his legal bills. The issue here is, should taxpayer dollars be used to defend the mayor for intentional conduct. This goes back to August of this year when Mayor Eddie Gardler was accused by a local family of hitting a 15 year old with his SUV and not stopping to help. In this situation, the mayor was cited only for leaving the scene of an accident and not rendering aid. Well, city records now show a $1,500 payment was made to the lawyer representing the mayor. And Adams wants to know if the city paid the mayor's personal legal bills. Mayor emailed me back and kind of vaguely talked about it, but I, it wasn't real clear. So I brought it up last night. But the mayor wouldn't answer. Again, you're misconstruing that, but I don't have any other comments about that. LEX 18 stopped by the mayor's office today, but he was not in. And our request for an interview was not answered. Adam says it's important to figure this out because it brings up this question. Should taxpayers pay for officials' legal fees? If I get a DUI, you're going to pay for to represent me in a DUI. Covering the news in Pulaski County, Carolina Buchuk, LEX 18 News. Surveillance video from what happened in that August incident shows a girl crossing the street on her bike, but it's hard to tell what impact, if any, there was. Mayor Girdler denies that was a hit and run.